What is up everybody, Clarin King here. Thanks for tuning in for another video. In this video, I'm at a public service call diagnosing a Stay Right Supermax VS with the error code 000F, which is an error code that has to do with voltage. In my experience, typically that means a drive has failed internally and a new pump is needed to be replaced. However, during my diagnosis, I found some interesting electrical issues that I wanna to bring to your attention that maybe it's not exactly the drive, it may be power in and of itself. So let's go ahead and show you what I found and uh, go from there. All right, you can see we're here in the back of the pump testing it. And right now we have 129.3 volts, which is proper. We have 120 feed coming into this pump. So normally with this voltage, you think, okay, it's just a bad drive. And that's why we're getting the air code pump needs to be replaced, but not so fast. So you can see here, I got the red probe from the meter on the load wire coming into the pump. And then the black probe is on the ground. And watch what happens when I turn this pump on. So just bear with me, it's one handed, but I'm gonna turn the pump on and we'll put the camera back on the meter. You see the pump's drawn now. So it hit such low voltage from the priming uh, sequence that it literally shut off. And now we're getting that error code here, the 000F. Now it's starting over again. Let's watch the meter. Does the same thing, we'll get the error code again. So let me go ahead and turn the pump off now. And now we're gonna keep going backwards and see if we can figure out what the problem is and test the timer box. All right, so in an effort to save the pump and have it stop turning on and off so quickly from that massive and sudden voltage drop, I did this off camera, the testing here at the timer box and sub panel to protect the pump as, as best I can. So I did test the timer there and had the exact same thing, 129, 130 volts at start. And then as soon as the pump started up, it drew it all the way down to the low 90s, the pump cut off and it started to try to do it again. So then I quickly moved over here to the time, uh, sub panel exact same thing 129 130 ish volts at start and it drained all the way down to the low 90s when it started up and cut off so there is no issue from the from the pump here uh to the timer to the sub panel where the issue lies is from the house panel to the sub panel here so unfortunately an electrician has to get involved here i've gone as far as i can but just want to show you this uh, indifferent and um, very uncommon electrical issue that's causing this pump to throw that error code because typically you just throw a new pump in and be on your way but if you did that in this case you'd exact you'd end up with the exact same issue because it's not a pump issue it's an electrical issue so i hope this video helped you guys out and making sure you guys are more efficient and exact when you're doing your uh, electrical diagnosing all right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope the video helped you guys out and be more efficient uh, and exact with your diagnosing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and button everything back up here and wait for the electrician to come out to figure out why we're getting that voltage drop from that main panel to the sub panel here and out to the equipment so we can get this client's equipment up and running as quickly as possible. So I really hope this video helped you guys. And uh, if you guys need any help with your business, check out my Patreon link below. And of course, check out my affiliate links for discounts on stuff. and. As always, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Have a great day.